Hey, how's it going, folks? I'm Brother Matthew, and this is Christian Coffee Time. So, I just wanted to do a little bit of a talk on the topic of easy believism. There's quite a few people that have trouble with that one. Uh, people who share stuff all over social media, for example, make videos on YouTube all railing against easy believism. Uh, people like John MacArthur uh, do great speeches and stuff uh, condemning easy believism, damning it, um, say, saying that you know, there must be a work involved on our part. John MacArthur, for example, is an advocate of and, a, and one of the founders of the modern movement of Lordship Salvation, uh, teaching that you have to actually uh, mold yourself and prepare yourself. You need to repent of your sins and you need to get yourself right with the Lord before you believe, and very simplistically explained, but, but that's more or less what it's saying. It's actually putting on the, uh, on the sinner the work of repentance that, that you have to work at. You have to do something. You can't just believe. And that's ultimately what these individuals are condemning. The act, uh, the act of simple faith. That salvation is not simple. That salvation is not easy. That you have to do something in addition to believing. And that's completely false. That is absolutely false. Because when you take a look at the Word of God, salvation is extremely easy. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16, 30, 31. Um, it, you see in the Word of God that it's by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves, that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, they, they say because, you know, because it took so much work for Christ on the cross. Well, yeah, because the, the work of atonement, the work of salvation was on Christ alone. He did all the work, all the atonement. He did everything that was needed, everything that was required. And all that's required of us is to believe. So now there is an issue with the term easy believism because there is a movement out there of the easy believists types, if I could say that, is uh, <clears throat> they say you j just believe in Jesus. You just just say the words, is one, two, three, repeat after me, just say this prayer, say the sinner's prayer, all good. Well, not quite, no, 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 because they're still, as long, as though it, it is easy, it, it is an easy salvation, is an easy way to be saved, um, it still needs to be the knowledge of still needs to be an understanding. You see, if you just say, believe in Jesus, well, which Jesus? Who is Jesus? Which gospel? Is it the, the Jesus of the Mormons, of Jehovah's Witnesses, of the Catholics? Uh, who is Jesus according to the Bible? So, which gospel? You would take a look at all the different gospels that are out there, which one? So there needs to be an understanding of Jesus and the gospel there needs to be an understanding of who who Christ is and what he did for us and all of that. So, though it is easy to be saved, there is the, the work upon the saint of educating the sinner of what the truth actually is. So when we take a look at Jesus according to the Word of God, Jesus is the Christ, the mighty God manifested in the flesh. And he died on the cross for our sins, because in the, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us because he so loved us. He made a way for us. That's so simple. It's by grace. The unmerited favor of God. I didn't merit it. I didn't earn it. I don't deserve it. It's not a reward. I didn't earn it. He gave it, but he gave it to me anyways. By faith. Faith is believing trust. So by grace are you saved. By unmerited favor are you saved by believing trust and not of works. So when we help a person understand this, how they are a sinner, and that their sins have separated them from God, and that they need to repent of their sins. Now, repentance isn't works. It's, acknowledge, it's the, the, the acknowledgement of the sin state, that I'm a sinner. I need to be saved from my sins. So to repent means to turn from, 
as in you're going down uh, you're going down a road you realize you're going the wrong way so you turn around and go the other way so it's acknowledgement of what is the truth and you go in that direction so you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved from your sins because your sins are leading you to hell so you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ of Scripture according to the gospel of Scripture and you're saved it's very easy so when people condemn easy believism uh, just my opinion if you ask me that they're doing so in ignorance they don't understand the actual extreme simplicity of salvation what did Paul tell the jailer believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved was Paul wrong 